I want to talk about why it's really important to understand what your charts are telling you. So let's talk about that and more right now. Hi Forex Traders, it's Andrew Mitchum here. I'm the Forex Trading Coach and today is Friday the 3rd of July. And in this video and podcast, I want to talk to you more about why it's really important to understand what's happening on your charts, why looking at your charts and having an understanding of what they're telling you is so important for your success as a Forex Trader. So let's talk about that. Okay, so as you would probably already know, I'm a big fan of candle patterns, Japanese candle patterns. Why? Well, they tell me in a really easy to understand format what's happening in the market right now. You know, what's happening on the right hand side of the chart in real time. And that's the only way you can really make money as a forex trader. You know, hindsight's fantastic to gain an understanding of what might happen, but right now, off the right hand side of the chart in real time, is where it's all um, all going to happen for you, your successful failure as a trader. And candle patterns help determine that. They help show me that in a pictorial form. You know, that I can look at the price axis and see what the actual price is, but a quick glance at a candle pattern and it can tell me whether the uh, currency pair is in um, a, an indecisive mode where it's going sideways and range band or whether we're currently in good strong trends. And that can help me so much because let's say, for example, the market's going sideways sideways and there's indecision within the candle patterns, lots of um, pin bars and lots of um, doji style candles. It's telling me that really neither the buyers or the sellers are in control overall of the market right now. That's looking at the time frame of chart that I'm looking at. So nobody's really in control. There's no strong uptrend. There's no strong downtrend. Really, all we're seeing is sideways action on the markets. And so what that's telling me is really, if I'm looking to place a new trade, why would I bother looking at that particular currency pair? I'd move on and look at another currency pair. And, and so what I'm really looking for is a currency pair that's showing me a good, strong trend right now. So what can you do? Well. You can then uh, get into the, uh, into the market if you see an opportunity for a new position. Or what you can do is if you're in a big strong uptrend, you can then wait for a pullback, wait for a, a retracement and get in at a lower price, a better price than what the market is giving you right now. And then once you see bullish candle patterns after a retracement, after a pullback, then it's a great opportunity to jump in uh, with buy trades and ride the market back up again in the overall direction. But after it's had that breather, after it's had that room to pull back and retracements, because no market does that. No market goes straight up. A uh, price will always go up and down and come back and go up again and pull back, always having uh, retracements within any movement. So always look for those opportunities to wait for the pullback back. So right now the market's going against your overall direction and then wait for that opportunity to buy again in that uptrend or, and exactly the same in reverse obviously for a, a sell trade. So that's the way I really like to look at trades. If I'm in a trade right now and I see a series of indecision candles, doji candles, the price not really moving, then I need to start thinking, I think, well, why is that? You know, if I'm in a buy trade right now and all of a sudden the market suddenly goes flat, is it the time of day? Uh, have we hit a, a resistance level in terms of the price or a pivot point or a previous swing high? Why is it that all of a sudden after this nice big strong trend and I'm in, currently in some really good profit, let's say, why does the market just suddenly stop and, and, and so I need to make a decision there. Am I then at that point going to close my trade, part of it, all of it? Um, I'm anticipating potentially after some stalling we might then be getting that reversal that I'm talking about, that pullback, that retracement. Do I want to wait for that retracement to happen and, re and remain in the market or do I want to exit my position at a fairly decent profit? and then wait for a retracement and then look to re-enter again. So those are the decisions you need to make, but the price action and candle patterns can really help you with that. If you'd like to know more, what I really suggest you do is jump onto one of the webinars that I hold, uh, free webinars each week. So I have a webinar if you're brand new to trading, if you've been trading for let's say less than six months, and I have another type of webinar that uh, is designed for people who are probably more frustrated with their trading, who've been trading for quite a while, 
but it's just not happening for you yet. So decide which is the best style of webinar for you, either new traders or uh, slightly more experienced traders. Jump onto one of those two webinars and I'll give you some really great information and tips to help you progress further with your Forex trading. So once again, this is Andrew Mitchum here. I'm the Forex Trading Coach. Thanks for watching. And don't forget that if you do have any topics or trading conversations you'd like me to discuss on future videos and podcasts exactly like this, just send me an email, andrew at theforextradingcoach.com and I'll answer those on, uh, on future editions for you. Talk to you then. Bye.